Okay, you hear that? You hear the synth? It's pumping, but you don't hear the kick, do you? That's the ghost kick. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use a ghost kick to sidechain compress your synths in Persona Studio 1-2 Professional. Sidechaining is a common technique used to create space and interaction between elements of a mix, such as a kick or a synth line. Here we have two tracks. One has our kick drum. The other has our synth pad. And what we want to do is create a pumping effect on the synth without having the kick audible in the mix. So let's start by adding a compressor to the synth. Let's go to the browser. I'll locate the compressor plugin and drag it onto the synth. Let's enable the side chain here. Now on the kick, all we have to do is open a new send and assign it to the side chain on the synth. Set the send to pre-fader and lower the volume on the kick. You can now adjust the amount of pumping using the send fader and the settings on the compressor. When the signal from the kick plays back, it will still act upon the track on which the insert effect was placed, in this case our synth, but we won't actually hear it. Use a high ratio, a low threshold, and tweak the attack and release settings to fit it into your mix. If you want to learn more about Persona Studio 1-2, check out these recommended videos. Join the conversation by following Wig Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.